<laughs> okay, this is going to talk about Rendezvous in the Ozarks 2024. Um, a little different than our normal channel content, and you'll see me repeat the same same thing when I'm uh, when I was videoing live from the event. But uh, what is this? It's a however you want to term it: overlanding, off-roading, touring, car camping, <laughs> whatever you do, whatever you call it. Uh, it's a gathering of like-minded individuals that love off-roading, love the outdoors, and love having fun. Uh, my only regret was that I was not able to stay longer. This is my first time going. My wife and I went there. Awesome trip just driving there. We're closer to Jasper, Arkansas. So on the way there, we went through Ponca, got to see the elk, had a nice drive, got stuck in a little uh, construction, <laughs> and then entered the event. And it was neat. Uh, what other places are you going to go and see a off-roading camping Model T, a Guinness world record winning Jeep, uh, all kinds of off-road vehicles, I mean different types from Toyota, you know, Chevy, Dodge, you name it. Though I think I was the only Silverado regular cab there, so uh, I got that going, but uh, lots of fun. Uh, most of the people camped out there. It was a multi-day event. It was a cool th way to just meet new people. Uh, lots of cool YouTubers were there. Got to interact with them. Got to interact with a lot of other people, vendors. Uh, just so many cool things to do there. Uh, it was uh, just a neat, neat event. Please watch this. Uh, just a quick, it's, it's just a quick overview of the event. The only way to really experience it is to go to it. Okay, filming from uh, Rendezvous in the Ozarks. Uh, 2024. This is kind of a different thing for us, kind of uh, more in the off-roading overlanding, but uh, if you live rural, uh, overlanding, off-roading is kind of a regular part of your life. It's just uh, how, do you, how you get to town. This is kind of a neat thing because you get to see all the new latest and greatest gear and uh, products available and kind of get to see a lot of cool uh, off-road rigs. So uh, hopefully this is uh, some interesting content, a little bit different from the normal channel, but uh, hopefully that's helpful. about going or uh, wanting something cool to do next year uh, plan on going to the 2025 I mean it's, it's in the Ozark National Forest it's uh, hosted by Natural State Overland it's just a fun event I mean you could I mean it's they were doing uh, trail rides through the Ozark National Forest they had a you know a course set up if you're new to overlanding or new to off-roading and wanted to test out the capabilities of your vehicle um, just all kinds of cool things. It was just 
like I said, my biggest regret that we could not stay that long. Unfortunately, we had we have animals at the homestead, <laughs> had to come back, but uh, it was well worth it. And don't forget to go to the video description. In the description, I will put links to all the cool uh, things that were at the expo. This was cool. This is my first actual expo that I ever got to go to for overlanding. I've been forum members and different groups for like uh, Expedition Portal and stuff like that for a long time and uh, it was just neat to actually interact with other people that uh, enjoy the same uh, pastime. Like I said, we unfortunately right now with the homestead don't get to go out and do these crazy you know long excursions but it is neat to meet people that do it and do it often. And it's, it's just cool. Like I said, our, our excursions, we try to get out once a week at least. Uh, one of the reasons I quit my job and ran to the Ozarks was so I could be close to the outdoors and off-road trails. And also just leaving our property is a little bit of a, <laughs> a, little bit of a touring uh, thing, but uh, that, that's another story. But uh, I recommend start planning for next year. And uh, yeah, it was so much fun. So. Thanks again, and please enjoy this content. I almost forgot too, there was a, and it was very homestead related, there was a really cool YouTuber that was into shortwave radio. I mean, just a complete expert on shortwave radio. So I chatted with him, great guy, and I will put his information in there too, because uh, if you're a homesteader, you should be doing uh, ham radio. So I mean, it was such a cool group of people that were there. I mean, just very cool time. And very, very recommended. So, till next time, stay safe.